September 13th. Flex Friday on Price Fix. Make sure you opt in on your promotions tab. We got a full slate of MOB, a couple WNBA games, and two college football games. Let's head on over to college football. I'm only going with two plays. Uh, most likely one of them will be on my Flex Friday slip. Let's go to passing yards. And Noah is my top pick. Arizona State's QB. Last season, he was averaging well over 300 yards each game. First game out, opener last week, he only threw 173. Team he's going against Kansas State, I think he's going to go well over 300 yards and go back to his original average. Uh, so I'm going to be taking the more on him. He's probably the favorite one for college football, at least on the popular tab. This is definitely going to get bumped. I think last night I saw it at 269. Uh, you can look into his pass completions or pass attempts, uh, but I'm just going to go with his passing yards. Next one I like is DJ Giddens. I was hoping his fantasy score will be up, uh, but unfortunately they don't have him. For him, I think the most popular play will be his rushing yards. He is a beast on the 102.5. Opener he had 114, as you can see, he was averaging well over 100 yards. He might regress. I know he's a beast, uh, but I'm going to target his receiving yards at 18.5. He had 63. I think they're going to use him more, at least for pass completions. He had six or seven in the very first game. Usually he averages about two or three. Uh, but if he gets the same number, at least five or six, he should go over 18.5. Uh, they're going to worry about him on the running game. So I think he can get a few passes. At least three or four, you should easily clear this 18.5. Uh, so I'll probably take a shot on that. I mean, you can take his rushing yards, but you're asking for 103. You're asking for a great game. Uh, but you can see a past five, past four, he's gone four of five. Past 10, I believe he's gone eight of 10. Uh, going against Arizona should be a high scoring game, but I think Arizona is going to edge him out. Money line. And I think they're going to focus on DJ Giddens since your quarterback is not a focal point. Uh, so I'll probably be taking. His receiving yards or his receptions are my top picks for him. And those are my two for college football. Let's head on over to WNBA. WNBA, I'm going to go right back to my anchors. Most likely going to be on my day one latter day challenge as well. WNBA first half. Fantasy score. My top pick is Carrington. Uh, she'll probably be my first leg on my fantasy score. She hasn't let me down. Uh, she's original still at 13 been getting her from 12 12.5 and 13 i like it i think it's gonna get bumped to 13.5 so hopefully you guys get it in at 13 she's been a wagon past 10 she's gotten over 8 of 10 matchup is there going against phoenix uh, against some good opponents she's got well over 13 uh, so i'll be taking her i do like her i do like brianna jones as well i like her full game props uh, but i want to take a shot at, at her first half bridget carlton she's a wagon as well i took her last time Trinity Carter, I do like her fantasy, but I like her PRA better for his first half. She does have several turnovers uh, during the game, so I'll most likely target her per first half PRA. Melissa Smith, it's not bad, 11.5. Kelsey Mitchell just regressed, uh, so she's looking for a bounce back, so this is not bad. Stephanie Dawson definitely taking a shot on her first half fantasy as well. Jordan Cannon, last time we took her, she did chalk. Uh, I expect her to bounce back. She's been averaging 15, 16 in the first half. The matchup is there as well, going against Washington. Uh, so she can easily go over as well. Head on over to PRA. And Trinity Carter is my top pick for PRA. I believe she's at 13. Excellent value. She can push. Got push equity. Uh, remember, don't take her fantasy score. She does have turnovers. Let's head on over to full game props. Most likely just going to stick to first half props. That's where the most value is for WNBA. But Brianna Jones is my favorite. You can take her PRA. I think her PRA is her best. Points and rebounds or fantasy score. Uh, she's been red hot since the break. Since they got off the break. Uh, so most likely to be targeting PRA. I do like her PRA. Fantasy score as well. Tina Charles is my next target. Rebounds just got bumped. I like the rebounds at 10. She got bumped to 10.5. As you can see, it's a popular play. But I did found, found a sneaky play. You can take her points and rebounds. 
I'm going to include offensive rebounds on my Flex Friday slip. She's been averaging four. Uh, so I'm going to be taking her. The matchup is there too against Washington. So I'll be taking, I think that's going to get bumped to three. So hopefully you guys get it in at 2.5. But that's the one. I'm definitely going to include this on my Flex Friday slip. Carrington will be also on my slip. Uh, most likely. Not sure if I'm going to include it on my day one of the ladder to challenge. But she'll definitely be in there somewhere. Either on my day one or Flex Friday. Let's head on over to MOB. Future strikeouts. Eric Feed, I'm going to take his MLB live prop. He's at four right now. I found a better prop for him, and that is an MLB live prop. I'm going to take a shot on it and take to, to do strikeouts. Needs three innings to get it. I think he can. This prop will definitely be on my Flex Friday slip. This is probably the best one for the MLB live prop. Let's head on over to the full game prop. Landon Neck, definitely take a shot on him. 4.5, he's been averaging five strikeouts. Uh, he knows he's gonna be a starter for the rest of the season with Clayton Kershaw out, so I think he's gonna be pitching uh, to earn a job for next season, so I'll definitely take him. Plus the Braves are not at full strength as well. Um, Spencer Schellenbach, five strikeouts or more against the Dodgers, definitely will take him. Strikeouts are, Dodgers do strike out a lot. You say Kikuchi, definitely take a shot going against the Angels. Jacob DeGrom, I was about to take him. He was at 6.5. Now he's at 6. Uh, so they did pump him down to 6 now. Uh, so most likely just going to fade him. Uh, he was my favorite one for MLB. He was at 6.5. I was going to take him the under, but now with the bump down. So I'm just going to fade that prop. Logan Webb, I think he gets 4 strikeouts or more. Going against the Padres, he averages about five strikeouts a game anyways. C should bounce back, but not sure if I'm going to go with his strikeouts. Samuel will be taking him on a separate slip. Let's check for pitcher fantasy score. Zach Eflin, definitely like him. You say Kikuchi, definitely like him. Those two are the two best for pitcher fantasy score. Uh, I think Mets and Philadelphia are going to go at it, so most likely going to fade these two. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. Uh, the Mets are fighting for a playoff spot. I think they're in wild-card position. Let's check for hits allowed. Man, not much value. Most of it's on Gobbies or Demons. Uh, Landon at Gobbies probably is good at 3.5. Pitching outs. Everything's been bumped. Luis Ortiz is probably a good one at 17.5 to take the under. Uh, going against the Royals, tough matchup for him. Um, I think he's going to get five innings solid. I don't think he can get the six against the Royals, so I'll probably take a shot on him for less. Very proud to think most likely this is going to be over. Uh, he's barely going to get five and two thirds. The matchup is there for him to outpitch Eduardo. Uh, I don't think Eduardo can get just more than five innings. So this might be a more and this might be a less. But that rounds up. Gave you plenty of props to choose from. Remember, it's Flex Friday. Don't stress about it. Go with your gut. Uh, it's protected. You get it back in promo funds tomorrow. Other than that, I suggest you just mix and match with WNBA, uh, college football, and MLB. If you do have soccer plays or esports, uh, include that as well. Just include your best prop from each sport and build off a Flex Friday slip. Uh, most likely, I'll be including two of each. Other than that, if you want my exact same slips, uh, additional slips as well, uh, I have a Discord. The link is in the description below if you're interested. Less than a dollar a day, can't beat it. I post slips every single day. You can tell what you like or mix and match. All based off the DG, DG Fantasy, Outlier, all the tools I have, I built it into slips. Not guaranteed. Uh, we do lose, but it's part of gambling. Not everybody wins every day, uh, but I do not gatekeep. All my slips are posted, win or lose. Uh, other than that have a great weekend please like subscribe and comment appreciate the support and see you guys in the next one